get him back with his his family. Hopefully, he needs to be soaring again soon. Yes, he does. Yeah, he's in good hands, though. Time now for the Fox 13 11 o'clock news. Yeah, here's Cynthia and Chris. Thank you, guys. Right now at 11, a former teacher accused of abusing a child is innocent. The state is no longer pursuing the allegations against her. And don't be quick to judge. And that's exactly what happened here. Yeah, but the damage has already been done. How she's now struggling to clear her name. We cannot lose this election. High stakes in Las Vegas. Republicans still caucusing in Nevada at this hour. We're going to show you the last minute push for votes. You have memories that you bring up, but there's a lot of great memories, too. Keeping a legacy alive. Why the family of Don Brancho chooses to support the very park where the killer well trainer died. You're watching Fox 13, and the 11 o'clock news starts now. Starting with this first tonight, at least seven tornadoes have hit parts of the southeast so far. That includes one that ripped through an RV park in Convent, Louisiana. Two people died there. 30 were injured. About 100 mobile homes were damaged. Those storms are also to blame for two deaths in Louisiana, one in Mississippi. And Paul Delegato was just telling us about some very devastating reports coming out of the Pensacola area of Florida. Again, caused by this line of storms that have come through. Homes have been hit there, apartments that have been destroyed. They're still really trying to assess the damage there in the Pensacola area. But those storms will also impact us. Paul is tracking that and joins us now with the latest. Paul? Yeah, yeah they will. It's all, all due to, Chris, this cold front.